keep going back and forth if I want to go ahead and remove the rear leaf springs and the shocks or remove all the front brakes and suspension. Uh, this job's just a few bolts on each side. Probably we'll get it done faster. And I guess I'm gonna get started on this. Finish up the rear. Hello. Every year, millions of dogs are forced to have sex with poodles to create the designer breeds that end with the name Poodle. If you would like to protect your dog, and stop this monstrosity, please like and subscribe to my channel and go to stopthepoodlehump.org. That's like and subscribe to this channel and stopthepoodlehump.org. And we will fight this abomination together. Thank you. And get back to work. of the car and we are going to pull this shock out uh, see there's a housing that holds the rear shock uh, two bolts here and I think there are two more underneath that exhaust pipe basically uh, you can kind of see the edge of one right there yeah so those will be fun to get to I'm hoping I don't have to uh, knock that off. I can get to it with a wrench, so we'll see. All right, under the car. Uh, you know, it's one of those days. You see up there, I gotta get those two bolts out. Not a big deal. Uh, nuts, I guess I should say. It's a bracket holding the uh, tail end of the exhaust. The reason why I have to get that off is because I'm pulling that shock up there. So, in order to get this shock out, there's four bolts up in the top. Let's see if I can get over there. There you can see, I got two of them, you can see. And you can kind of see the third one back in that corner there. I can get to it with a socket. And those weren't too bad right there. I was able to get a socket and extension where I could get some, you know, leverage on it, get them out, no problem. That one right there is going to be hard. But then there's the one you can't see up underneath that exhaust pipe. And there was a bracket right there I removed. The exhaust pipe is still very rigid. Uh, I was hoping maybe it would. Uh, Give it a little bit of flexibility on moving that bracket. But now it's led me to this. Anyway, it's led me to this. Uh, there is one bolt there that I got off. But you see, you go to slide it out. And for some reason, they put it on this side. Instead of this side where there's plenty of room to take it out. Um... And it won't come all the way out. So I have to remove the entire bracket. Two more nuts. You know, whatever. Not a big deal, but goddamn. All I wanted to do is remove this shock. <laughs> and it's never easy. And it is out. Uh, one nut right there. Tapped it on the hammer. With the hammer. And I slid right off. No problem. Pulled it out. You can see these uh, have a housing bolts to the body of the car and uh, you know then just one nut on top and the rod from the shock will pull right through there so we'll be buying some new shocks uh, probably I don't know that little rubber grommet doesn't look too bad but 
uh, see if I can find one of those. But uh, clean all this up, clean this housing up, paint it, and throw these bolts that came out of it. There's the fourth one uh, in the acid bath, and uh, clean them up. And I'll probably stick them back up in the holes when they clean up, just so I don't lose them. But there you can see where it's uh, sat inside there. So, yep, one side done. I'll probably put you on the tripod for the other one. Not that you'll be able to see much, but uh, maybe get a little more video footage out of it. All right, let me get up in here. This side, for some reason, as I mentioned, only has three. That's one of them bolts. One of them is missing. Um, so, let's see. Doing, child. What you doing? What's Robin gonna get home? Uh, a few minutes should. Oh, you videoing? Huh? You videoing? Do what? You videoing? Yeah, I'm videoing. Fans want to watch me work. I was 18. I'm up to 18 subscribers. You already have like 11 views on that new video you just posted. Fucking awesome, huh? Oh, no. Amazing. Like the best YouTuber ever. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, that thing. What is that thing? This? Uh -huh. it's a shock. Do what? Why is it being so difficult? Uh, probably because that bolt has been in there for 50 years. <laughs> if I had to guess, I don't know. Maybe they've been changed before, but probably not. They look pretty old. So 50's old now? Huh? So 50's old? Do what? 50's old now? Yeah. Well, not for me. Some things no. I'm still in my mid forties. So. Huh? Aren't you forty-eight? Not yet. And forty-seven is mid forties. What, what is it? High forties. Forty-nine and a half. <laughs> yeah. Two more years. And I'll be almost 50. Won't that just fall at some point? Nope. Like crush you? No. No, like the thing you're unscrewing. Oh, I'm not unscrewing that. How the fuck's that connected? What, this? Yeah. There's another bolts up here. Another bracket. Oh. Way up here. What about this shit? It's uh, bolted to it this. It smells. <sighs> what does it smell like? Grime. Grime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It smells like the car when we first started taking it apart. Yeah. I'm surprised you remember because you don't ever come work on it anymore. I'm busy with schoolwork. And also, I can't do any of this. I'm just a girl. Oh, my God. Yeah, I could.
I think you are. You can barely do it. You're like 100 pounds more than me. Oh, I heard something crack. What? Your back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Maybe you should take your Apple Watch off. I'm getting kind of worried for it. Why? I don't know. What are the brakes? Um, well, they're very tough. I did. When I was draining this gas tank, I got gasoline all over it. And it you smelled like gasoline for like a month. Did you save the gas? I, I did. There's still some in the tank. Get out. My friend's car ran out of gas in the parking lot. In the parking lot? <laughs> yes. Well, hopefully we will actually have a gas gauge for this. A gas what? Gas gauge. It's gas gauge. Oh, the... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I know what a gas How far along were you on driver's ed? I finished the thing I needed to get like my permit. Well, I know that. You got your permit. <laughs> Yeah, you need to, because I'm gonna have this car ready in no time. Aren't you worried about running out of space on your phone? I'm always running out of storage. I delete the videos when I put them on my computer. You ready to uh, put that hard drive in your laptop yet? No, while you're sleeping on it. Did you order your God, Christmas so stuff yet? You demand huh? so much from me. I am trying to help you. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I'll do it all this weekend. Well, you know Christmas is like in two weeks. Oh, no, it's actually in like a week and a half. Not even two weeks. You need to get chilled to the dog. You need to watch your smart mouth. I, I don't have a smart mouth. Nobody who says chill pill is a very smart person. That's probably true. Robin's calling me. Alright, we gotta stop the video. Wife's calling. You ain't gotta put it on there. Just hit record. Alright, so. I'll have to hold it? Yeah, you're gonna do the camera work. Oh, camera! Do you want yeah. your face in it? Am I am I supposed to be recording? Yes, are you you're not? Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I am recording. But my good side. Mhm. Mm there, a shock <laughs> removed from the car. That's oh, it. The next day. Welcome back, Buck. Don't know shit. Uh, it's a new day, another pretty day here. Um, mid 60s, 8 in the morning. Uh, should warm up in the 70s, but uh, yeah, another beautiful day in Texas. I uh, left off yesterday, had the rear shocks out. We've got the drum brakes off, the axles pulled out, and today I'm going to work on go ahead and finishing getting rid of the rear lift, leaf springs. Going to start with the removal of the drive shaft. Yeah, that's today's plan. Anyway, we'll see. Got my Yoda shirt on, rocking the Crocs. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, dark gray. In case anybody wants to dress like me, there you go. Got them in uh, what I call four wheel drive mode. There, you know, strap on. My kids call it sport mode. I don't know. I like four wheel drive better, but anyway, that's it. Kind of walking around the car, delaying work, and delaying work all morning. Yeah, sometimes you just don't feel like 
climbing up in her car and you wish you had a lift and all those things. That's today, but can't put it off anymore. About to get started. Well, didn't have a good way of videoing this really under the car. My tripod's a little too tall or my car's a little too low. Um, anyway, drive shaft's out. That's the rear end end just uh two u-bolts four nuts pried it a little bit shoved this in back into the transmission a little and then this just fell down no problem use a little pry bar big pry bar actually but uh didn't take much to shift it forward and then got under it and Pulled that out, just pulled right out, no problem whatsoever. So, yep, drive shafts out. Now we will uh, get started on these U bolts on the rear end. Get all those off, both sides. Get the rear end completely free. It will be free at that point, other than like some brake lines. But probably not going to mess with that right just yet uh but uh then we'll continue on get the bolts on either end of the springs get those out and other than the gas tank i will be done with what i'm going to take off this rear end so it's getting pretty close three quarter inch nuts on these uh u-bolts and I can tell you right now, they are very tight. This one is anyway. I hit it with some, uh, Deep creep or whatever last night. This right spot. Ah, I can tell you it's going to need some persuasion. Torque extension device. got hurt on the job using a cheetah pipe cheetah bar whatever you want to call it anyway he filled out the report and uh i don't exactly know how you spell cheetah pipe you know i mean of course spell it like cheater normally i think is how it's intended but he spelt it cheetah like the cat, C-H-E-E-T-A-H. -E -E uh, filled out all his reports that way. Everybody got a good laugh out of that. Pretty sure it's not a cheetah pipe, but uh, I don't know, could be wrong. Well, I ended up stripping this bolt here. Uh, can't get my socket all the way back over it and it just falls off, so. Uh, try to wrench wrench is slipping too so basically I'm gonna have to get my cutting wheel and cut that u-bolt off and hope that I can find a uh, new one should be able to should be just a standard thing I think it's just a pretty common nine inch forward rear end so it shouldn't be a problem yeah. Well, you know, if I got to buy one new bolt, I might as well buy four. So that was really easy. A lot easier than uh, struggling with those nuts. Uh, 
So yeah, I think I'm just gonna cut the other side as well. It's free. Okay, <clears throat> so the rear end is officially loose, other than uh, one brake line. Uh, it's just that flex piece there, um, connected to like a splitter. Uh, I'll probably just cut that. I'm gonna replace all these brake lines anyway. And uh, next, it's getting this leaf spring belt and there is bolt on that end and one bolt on this end so very two bolts eh. I don't know let me look at it. Might. Since my exhaust pipe is in the way here. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll go ahead and get these three bolts out. Take this whole assembly down. Those look like they'll be easy to get out. Well. <clears throat> First of all, no, I did not die. I was not under this when this happened, but uh, everything was kind of in a bind. I had jack stands under my rear end. Um, I was trying to look at this here. There, it looks like there's a bolt that goes through the leaf spring. I didn't. Looking at the manual, I didn't see where anything was bolted together in there, but I couldn't get these two pieces separate. And it looked like the rear end this is welded on to the rear end. It looked like the rear end was just holding up this whole spring so I couldn't get it loose. Uh, so I went ahead and unbolted the other side. You see it's still on the jack stand. Um, <clears throat> got my jack on this side, pulled uh, the jack stand out, lowered it, you know, and I could tell it was all kind of coming free. Uh, went on that other side. do the same thing I was going to pull the jack stand out jacked it up I was going over back to the other side put some blocks under that end while I was doing that it all came crumbling down um, everything's fine of course um, but you see those two pieces are not bolted together just so everybody knows I am going <clears> to <throat> pull them out here in a minute take a look at it and uh, see why uh, exactly mine on that side is uh, stuck but uh, yeah so anyway I, I'm gonna cut the brake line there let that brake fluid just kind of I'll find something to catch it in and um, yeah just pull this whole rear end and these springs out and take a look at it
rear end and the spring. Try to knock that one loose, like this one over here, but uh, it's out. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of it. I'm running out of room. Car is uh, exploding everywhere. Smart guy would probably stop, put some stuff back together, but I'm not very smart. 